So I think you guys have mostly figured out by now that companies want a lot of money for VR. <laughs> but there's got to be a cheaper way for it. And there is. There is definitely a cheaper way to get VR. And I've been staring at it the whole entire time. These particular screens. These screens may not be perfect. They may all be different sizes, which causes a little bit of a distortion. But the experience is amazing. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. And I think it looks good enough that I can show you guys on how to do this. Enabling NVIDIA surround is extremely easy to do. Right click on your desktop screen and locate the NVIDIA control panel. Once you guys are in here, you're going to come to the configure surround and physics tab and you're going to end up check marking this and hitting configure. Now, when you guys hit configure, you're going to get this window that pops up, but I've never seen any issues with just continuing on. Now, inside of this tab, we have a few things that we need to change. So for this particular setup, we need to go into one by three, one standing for the height and the other one standing for side to side. Now, NVIDIA really doesn't have any way of knowing exactly what your monitor placements are, so that's what we're actually doing right here. Now, my particular setup goes from left to right, 3, 1, and 2, but your guys' setup's going to be different. These numbers get generated based on your screens plugged into what port on the graphics card. Now, what you guys are going to want to do now is just to go down, confirm the surround by hitting enabled, and just like that, guys, you have enabled surround. Now, before I go, guys, I just want to say a few things that I do not like about the NVIDIA surround panel. So one of the things that I just can't stand with this particular program is getting out of surround. AMD, weirdly enough, has this figured out. I don't understand why NVIDIA doesn't save your settings when you go into surround. When I come out of surround, Every single time I have to go back into my resolution tab and reconfigure my resolution for my screens and this absolutely pisses me off. It actually makes the surround uh, shortcut tab where you can actually set up keys to enable surround and disable surround from the desktop absolutely pointless. If they want to do an easy enable and an easy disable, set it to applications. If I launch let's say Star Wars for example, Put it in put it in surround if I go into halo put it in surround but when I come out of these applications please go back to my regular desktop screens because I can tell you programs like Camtasia programs like Premiere programs like Photoshop absolutely hate surround so this is something that I would ask for Nvidia to please fix but like I said guys this is Mike signing off from the help tech tutorial show definitely subscribe to the channel if you liked what you saw today and we'll see you guys in the next one.